recent happenings, a Ghanaian TikTok celebrity, Koho Asantiwa, celebrated her birthday and this was the outfit for the birthday. This was where my customer got her inspiration from. She wanted me to design something similar for her. She wanted both the amber the bus corset and the jumpsuit as well. I decided to take you guys along with me. I'm not going to be leaving any bit of this process out. I'm going to be taking you guys along from A to Z so that if you want this design, you can make it for yourself. This particular episode, we shall be focusing on the amber the bus corset. In the next episode, we shall then be talking about the jumpsuit. All you need to do is to subscribe and be part of this wonderful family where we take you along this journey. This whole episode will also include the beading part of the dress. I shall be taking you through step by step how to bead this particular beautiful apparel. So, so and so, I want you to take a chill pill, stick stay and keep watching to the end of this content. Verily, 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 I present to you all the tools and materials we shall need for these tutorials. We shall be using this pink bridal satin. It's actually one yard and at the end of the day, I ended up using half yard. I shall also be showing you in this video how to economize your fabrics. Right here is the interfacing we shall be using also. This is what we call hair stay. This is the medium, okay? This is what they use for the color, which is also called the color stay. It's a bit harder. I opted for this because I wasn't going to be adding interfacing to the facing piece of the corset. There is this beautiful look and feel brighter certain things to give when there is no interfacing attached to it. We shall also be using this gold color grommet. This is of a size 24. When you are going for underbass corset or corset that you're going to be snatching the waist so much. To go for the normal ribbon like this one, it can disappoint your customers when pressure becomes much. So this is what I usually use if I'm going to be snatching the waist of my corset, like underbass corset and those stuffs. This is a bit firm. This cannot disappoint. This is so strong. We shall also be using this pearl setting machine. I'm going to be using it to insert these pearls. My customer wanted me to attach some pearls to the corset. Our armhole curve, our ruler, our marker, boning, fishing wire, some beads and crystals, rhinestones, so some beads. We should also be using these mini pegs, our calculator, and our pins and the magnet for holding our pins. Let's set the ball rolling. I've already drawn out all the lines we shall be needing for the pattern drafting. The first and topmost line is a shoulder line. The next is a chest line, followed by the bust point line, followed by the under the bust point line, and the waist point line. I've already marked my armhole and my neckline. Let me go ahead and connect them. I'm not detailed on this part because I have a video already on the channel explaining this into details. Next is to mark half of my nipple to nipple measurements and I'll be connecting that. We don't really need this but let me do it for understanding purposes. Next, let's divide our bus circumference into four. Whatever answer we get, I'll mark it at the chest line and also mark it at the waist point line then I'll connect a straight line through. This is for a reason and you shall be understanding it as we proceed. At the armhole line, I'll divide our armhole into two, come in by half an inch and I shall be connecting that using my armhole curve for us to completely get our armhole. At the chest line, I shall be marking half an inch towards the center front and one inch towards the side front. Let's also continue to the waist point line and mark the same thing over there. And we also move to the under the bust point line. Also mark the same thing right there. From the waist point at the side front, I'll be coming down by 3.5 inches. Move my tape rule also to the waist point of the center front. Mark 5.5 inches. Now let's go ahead and join all this point. And this line we just finished drawing out is called the upper hip line. Let's also go ahead and connect a straight line to join with the upper hip line. And from the upper hip line we'll be connecting all the points that we marked already. For the end of the bus point line, we use our whole curve to connect it to the bus point line. Do same to the other side. And at the chest line, we connect it that same way towards the bus point line into the other side. And this is basically what we ought to do. Now this other part from the chest line will be coming up by 2 inches. This is actually optional. I think at the end of the day, we, we didn't make good use of it. But don't worry, let's go ahead and do that. Let's come up by 2 inches from the chest line and connect a straight line through. I'll find the midpoint at the end of the bust line 
and connect a straight line through. The purpose for this line is to create channels for the snatching of the waist. Now let's do this little and easy calculation. Have you noticed that quarter of the bust circumference that I mark at the chest line is the same thing I marked at the waist point line and I connected a straight line through. Basically what we did was we marked the same bust circumference divided by 4 at the chest line at the bust point line, at the waist point line, at the hip point line, and even at the under the bust point line. So this was the bust circumference divided by 4 we marked throughout. The reason we used the bust circumference to mark throughout was because the bust circumference was the biggest circumference measurement of the corset. We need to mark the biggest circumference all through. The, the main idea behind under the bust corset is to snatch the waist. Waist snatching simply means we're going to be reducing the circumference of the waist and the under the bust. That way when you wear the corset it's gonna compress the flesh of the waist and the under the bust making it smaller and giving you that figure eight shape snatching of the waist can also be optional some people want to get rid of one inch flesh at their waist others two inches three inches four inches Depending on the amount of flesh you want to get rid at your tummy and at your waist area if you go very high You'll be unable to breathe well and you'll also be unable to engage in certain activities. So be moderate when you're snatching your waist. Don't go so much, okay? We divided our bust circumference by 4 and that gave me 9.5 inches. That was what I marked throughout. In waist snatching, the figure you are using to snatch the waist should be the same figure you are inputting at the end of the bust and the waistline. It should be the same figure okay so you have to look at your under the bust and your waist which one is smaller then you go for that one okay if it is your waist then you must divide your waist circumference by four and that is what you'll be using if it is under your bust you must divide your under the bust circumference by four and that is what you'll be using in our case our under the bust and the waist circumference were the same they were all 34 inches so if we divide our 34 inches by 4 that will give us 8.5 inches so we're going to be using 8.5 inches on our waist and on our under the bust so let's finish with the calculation we have to take our bust circumference divided by 4 which was 9.5 inches minus our waist circumference divided by 4 which was 8.5 inches so we have to subtract that 8.5 inches from that 9.5 inches and that will give us one so one is what we shall be using for our that. Then the next thing we have to also consider is for the waist snatching. Okay, how much flesh do I want to get rid of? Okay, you can say 2 inches, 3 inches, 4 inches. So in our case, let's snatch this waist by 2 inches, okay? So if you add that 2 inches to that 1.5 inches you had from subtracting 8.5 inches from 9.5 inches, that will give us what? three inches so we're gonna be using three inches to create all our dots so the dots we are going to be inputting it should all sum up to that three inches that is just how simple it is okay let's look at this for the first dot that we created we use half an inch towards the center front and one inch towards the side front which is 1.5 inches so we've used 1.5 inches already if you subtract 1.5 inches from our 3 inches it will be left with 1.5 inches so any other that we're going to be inputting to snatch this waist it must be 1.5 inches so that when we add everything up it will be 3 inches and nothing will be short i hope that is clear from the channel we already created at the midpoint at the end of the bust line we're going to be dividing our 1.5 inches across. Mark half an inch on this side and one inch on the other side. So we've exhausted all our dots, okay? That is 1.5 plus 1.5. That is giving us three already. One way you can also do this is to create a lot of channels in divide, okay? So you can decide to create as many channels as you want. You can even come to the center front and create another channel there, depending on what you want. But I want to keep this very simple, okay? And because of the shape I'm going to be drawing out, I think I don't need to create a lot of channels. So I just brought the remaining 1.5 inches on this other side, and I'll be connecting it this way. I think this is okay. I hope that is clear. 
And let's add our allowances. So for the allowances, I'm using 1.5 inches as my allowances. So I just went ahead to add that up. Next is let's try and create the shape we want at the hem area of the corset. So what I'll do is at the center front, I'll be coming in by one inches. Then I'll go to the side front and I'll kind of create a curve to meet with that one inches. So this part, it's about your creativity. What you what really want is what you should do here. So the shape you want to achieve, that's what you just have to draw out at this point. Okay, first of all, I'm using my pencil to kind of do that before I'll go ahead and use my marker to trace everything out. I will come to the under the bust line, step up by one inch. I realized that this under the bust corset was a bit up from the under the bust point line so i also move to the side front and also mark the same 1.5 inches above the under the bust point line at the chest line on our second that i'll make a curve to join with that one inches we came up by i shall also move to the center front where i came up by one inch and also connect to join with that second that at the chest line Then let me go ahead and add my joining allowance. You can also do this when you are cutting it on your fabric, okay? So for those who are drafting directly on their fabric piece, just go ahead and add it up. I think at this point I was okay with the shape and everything. So let me just go ahead and do my cutting out. At this point, let's cut the back piece. So for the back piece, I want to have two panels. So times two, that will give me four panels. So what I'm going to be doing is those cardinal points, that is the upper hip line. I will trace that. I will trace that out. I also come to the point where the armhole ended for the front line and also trace that out. And from that line, I will also be marking my 9.5 inches, which is my bust circumference divided by 4. Plus that 1.5 inches I used for the front. I'm also going to be adding that. So, okay, let me go ahead and join all the lines. So, at the end of the bust line, I will mark my under the bust circumference divided by 4 plus that 1.5 inches mark my waist circumference divided by 4 plus that 1.5 inches at the upper hip line i'm going to be marking the same 9.5 inches plus that 1.5 inches allowance right there and let me go ahead and connect the points too so from this side i'll come down by 1.5 inches and i'll make a curve to connect with that so i'm still trying to get a shape um, for what my customer really ordered for so I'm creating the shape just as Just something similar to what I did for the first one Let me label this side as the center back and the other side as a side back at the back I'm supposed to also be snatching it by three inches. I shall be taking away one inch from that three inches for the snatching of the waist of the back and we'll be adding it to that takeoff we will need for the lacing up of the back. I wanted that opening to be three inches. If you add that one inch, it's going to be four inches. Because our fabric is on fold, we'll be marking two inches. When we open it up, we now have the four inches. I hope that is clear. So I've marked that already, and I'm going to be connecting a straight line through. So this is where we're going to be cutting off. It will be part of the pieces. The upper line, I'll find the midpoint of that line. Move it to the hem of the corset. Also mark the same figure right there. And I'll be connecting a straight line through. This is a channel I'm creating to also snatch the waist of the back. So I'll mark one inch on one side. Mark one inch on the other side. And connect it this way. Let me also just go ahead and label them. I'm go ahead and add my stitch allowance and I'll be cutting everything out. We've come to the end of the cutting part of this video. Tomorrow I shall also be uploading the sewing part of this video. Kindly stick stay and check that out. Thank you. Bye bye.